always liked hot rods, I decided to build one. <laughs> there you are. All right, hello everybody, this is Tony, and I am here with Steve Mabry, uh, for another uh, merciful member, and Steve, you got a really nice 34 Chevy here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tony. I, I worked on it a long, long time. Started on it in uh, 1991 and finished it in 2000. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's a long time, that's for yeah, sure. Now, yeah. this is in your home garage, right? Correct. I uh, have lived in the Wind River Mountains in uh, Wyoming for 42 years. And uh, we had a mild winter back in 1991. I said, darn, I'd like to build a car. So <laughs> that's when I started. <laughs> right, wow. And so nine years. Nine that. years because I could only work on it during the summer months in between the job that I had, which was uh, running a mobile home and RV park. Oh, okay. And uh, when a tourist would show up, I'd have to quit and uh, yeah. go do do what paid me. You know, right. Kept right. me eating. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Matter of fact, I found this car, as you will see in these photos, uh, up in Laurel, Montana. There was a fellow who had a website called Randy's Rods, and I thought, well, gee, I want something that you can't buy a kit for. So I went up there and paid astronomical money for the pile of stuff that you will see in these photos. and. Uh, Hauled it home and started work on it. Dead of winter. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> nuts. Because, I mean, looking at the photos, you must have had a vision for it. like you, Because it was like just a shell and not much there, but you had a vision when you first saw those parts. Well, I had a good buddy that was a body and fender man from here. And uh, he said, you really want to build something that they don't reproduce. And uh, five window Chevrolets. 1934 they're they're not made yeah so, so that'll work right, right. <laughs> well you know i always dig the oddball stuff so that's kind of <laughs> neat to see that other people reviving these so it doesn't really matter so much that if there's a you know a parts house right by that has all the parts you need like a mustang for example right i mean you can get anything for a mustang but uh, that's not you don't necessarily need to have that I and mean, we can see with this beautiful car that you can build it up from nothing with the right experience, tools, friends, that sort of thing. I had zero experience, but everything is common sense to me. Okay. I've always kind of been handy, uh -huh. and uh, as I say, the only thing there is Body by Fisher and Steve Mabry. <laughs> right on. <laughs> well, again, it's a beautiful car. Thanks for doing all that work and sharing it with everybody here. Well, I appreciate you appreciating it, my <laughs> right. friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah.